Okay, we're back. Uh, modeling in the construction phase. Okay, so we're going to be creating a uh, another gap between um, these uh, prefabricated concrete panels. Oh, we're going to create pre uh, gapped prefabricated concrete panels. Now, before I get into this um, custom profile, I want to just explain a little bit more to you these reference planes because they'd be really tricky. I know we touched on them, and we get more into it in the family editor. But you have to remember these these reference planes. Again, I, I strongly recommend you, you go to the internet, look at Euclidean space, you'll see exactly what I mean. They, they, they cut, um, they, they cut uh, like a double-edged sword, like a double-edged sword. And I, I'm going to try to attempt to explain that to you a little bit better. Now, in the sample building start, where the parts start, the, the instruction was to select a part, uh, well, I'm sorry, create a part out of it, and then we're supposed to divide the part, and then we're supposed to uh, intersecting planes. And we're supposed to select all. And then you can see that we're supposed to select level 2, grid 1, and x plane, uh, uh, x plane, y plane 1. That was the first exercise, right, if you remember. It was level 2, reference plane, y panel 1. And it was a grid 1. Now, that means that this, this, this cut is going to take place at that intersection, at that origin point, um, base point, if you will. And the profile will be swept along that profile. Or the profile will be swept along the, that reference plane. The intersection of the reference plane, the grid, and the, um, and the level. Now, that's triangulation. It's triangulation is what that is. So now if you think of it, there are three lines, if you will. So I'm going to show you something here. We cancel out of here for a second. This could be perplexing. It could be really perplexing. Okay, so I have all these views open. I know it's a lot of views. I got the 3D view open for the, the parts that we haven't completed yet. And I have the one open that we have. And if you remember, we, we cut the roof into four parts using the X and the X plane one and the Y plane. Um, X plane one, Y plane one. I was saying the same thing with the grid and the level and the X plane Y. But now let's take a look at this for a second. If I go to the level one floor plan, we, we could see that there's the A1 grid, right? A grid, the one grid, we have the uh, reference plane Y plane one, we have the reference plane X plane one. And if you go to the roof plan, you see that it, it runs the same, it runs the length, the height of the building. But it runs the length and the width, too. It's volumetric. It's volumetric. It runs the height, length, width, and depth of the building. It's hard, it's a little bit difficult to convey that in words, but indeed on the level two as well. So if we were to select grid level one, and level one, let's, let's look at this in section two. So here's, here's um, I created some, some sections here. I created, this is section one, section line right here, section one. And then here's section two. So if you look, it's section one, which is looking that way. You could see what you would think would be a dot, but it's not. It's a section plane, a reference plane. That's X plane uh, one. And you see, when I highlight it in this view, you can see it highlighted in the other view, all the views. I'll, do it, I'll undo it and I'll keep redoing it. You have to keep looking back and forth at the screen to get an idea of exactly what I'm talking about. That's section one. Looking at it uh, longitudinally. Now looking at it in latitude, here's why? Right? Here's why. I know that's a little boggling. It's a little boggling. Uh, maybe it's not for you, but it can be for, for others. Because navigating in 3D space is very difficult. I'm not a pilot. <laughs> but this software was developed by the Air Force, man. So navigating in this can be tricky, right? So what it's saying, though, in the context of the wall, in the context of the wall, if we think about this, well, Here's the south elevation of the wall, right? Looking at the wall, 
this way, looking at the wall this way. And if we, if we, we, if we know that in section, if we know that in section, right, uh, which is not the elevation, but in section we, we know that there's, a, there's an x-plane in section, right? And if we look at section 2, now look, keep in mind, we're looking at this this way. We're looking at it this way, right? So in the south elevation, like I said, you can see the x-plane. But in the elevation, you can't see the y-plane, right? You can't see the y-plane. I'm sorry. You can see the y-plane. You can't see the x-plane in elevation. I'm sorry to confuse you. You can see the y-plane. You can't see the x-plane. Well, because the x-plane is running west and east. It's running west and east. But it, so these, this is how you're going to align your profiles. Now, I watched a video a while back from Balkan Architects who created a facade, a wood facade that was shaped like um, um, what's the word? a trellis, like a, a trellis. But it was it was warped, a warped trellis. Um, I think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, if you've seen a garden trellis, it was a warped wooden trellis, and it's a very very difficult facade to create. It was for a restaurant, and uh, he's fantastic. But again, you can learn so much from going through exercises and, and going through texts and investigating on your own and Googling words and, and researching history. And that's the beauty of this. And it's the elegance of it. Now, that's a lot to have to take in in a little exercise. But we're going to be getting into creating a, pro a custom profile. And I just wanted to bring it to your attention because this doesn't just exist in the realm of linear sweeps. It doesn't exist just within the realm of vertical linear sweeps. This exists within curved space curve space-time. For starters, you have only a certain amount of time. And I don't want to go off on a Mars exploration right now. We're talking about curved space-time, right? It's four o'clock. I still have a lot to do. And this is, this is benefit, beneficial for both of us. This is an educational assessment on both sides of the spectrum. All right, so this line's colored uh, RGB green. Look at the color wheel. All right, so now uh, let's go. Let, let me uh, close out some of these views. I'm going to go into the 3D start or whatever it tells us to go into. Hold on. Dividing part uh, uh, simple gaps, and then we're going to have some custom profiles. So I just want to make sure that it wants us to be in the start, or does it want us to be in the start? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to activate this view, go to the view tab, and sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to go to tile views. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go to tab views. And then I'm going to just close all inactive views so that I only have, and it didn't close parts model because this is two different projects. Finished, start, finished, start. So when we do this, why don't we go to start and get the 3D view open. And let's just close section two. So we have WT, we have the start, the, the finished model, and the, and the started model, and the model that started. The finished model and the one that we're going to do. So on the right, we have the finished product. On the left, we have the, uh, the one that we're going to actually be uh, augmenting. All right, so in addition to simple gaps, and they're not that simple, parts can be divided with a custom profile. A family template called, the, uh, template called Division Profile by RVT is available in the default family template library. This profile family is similar to other profiles, except that the co completed sketch in the family does not need to be a closed loop. That said, the sketch must extend completely between the two reference planes associated with the width parameter in the template. So why don't we take a look at some of those profiles real quick. Let's go to open and let's go to uh, divisions. Uh, let's go down to the root, to the library files, right? Um, root directory, program data, order task, RVT 2020. Uh, we go to uh, libraries, U.S. Imperial. Now, let's see, uh, I believe this is going to be in profiles.
division profiles. Now you see you have three here, angled step, notch, and tapered notch. So now you can get, to get an idea of what, what I'm saying here, what we're going to be uh, etching out, if you will, honing. We're going to be honing the wall, honing it. Okay, so if I was to actually open one of these tapered notches, let's open up tapered notch. And you see, basically all it is is a 2D profile, right? It's a 2D profile. It's a simple line with 45 degree angles or 30, what is this, 30? It's about 45, with 45s. Now that's uh, that simple shape you could use to etch out a portion of this wall. What are we doing? And that's the beauty of it. If you, if you know where to place the profile, you can do all sorts of things with this. Think about that. Or if you wanted to create a wave, a nice little wave, or uh, like, and this is where it plays into cornices, and, and uh, when you get into Renaissance, rather, you'll start to see some of the magnanimousness of it, if that's even a word, the magnitude, the grandiosity of some of these structures. As you can sculpt these parts into any shape you want, Beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, so not to get off on some Cinderella fantasy land, I want to continue going. Even though the comp fairies, five effects, these five jockeys, they, they, they really take it to the next level. So let's try to keep up speed, but let's not lose our uh, sense of self. Now, in addition, a family template called Division Profile is available in the default family library. This family, this profile family is similar to other profiles the completed sketch in the family does not need to be a closed loop. That said, the sketch must extend completely between the two reference planes associated with the width parameter in a template, associated with the width parameter. So if we're gonna, if we're gonna uh, intersecting these things on reference planes, it's gotta extend between that width. So if we, um, if I hold on, let's do something here. So we select this wall, and we create a part out of it, and then we divide the parts, and then we intersect them by all. Well, then we're going to have to have it extend uh, through these reference points, right? And, then, and that's how we're going to be able to uh, control where, where this thing sculpts. So let's just hold it there for a second. We cancel out of there. Let's go through the steps one by one. I hope that was a general explanation of it, because you don't get that explanation all these videos. You, you get the steps, but you don't get the underlying theory behind it. And, and that's what I do with all these software platforms I work on. I try to figure out how they were how they were programmed. I do. I try at least to the best of my ability. And we all, and all, and we all have abilities. All right, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go through this. Um, a number of division profiles are loaded in the default architectural project template. You can find these in the project browser, like I just showed you. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue to work in this part start project, which we're in. And uh, we'll open the model until we see the exterior face of the wall, which we can. And select one of the divided parts of the main precast panel. Select one of the divided parts of the main precast panel, the uh, precast concrete portion of the wall, being that we haven't created them yet, let's use the finished model instead. So, hold on. Let me just make this window a little close. Sorry, I uh, changed my mind. That happens. Anyway, so now, select any of the divided parts of the main precast concrete portion of the wall. Once a part has been divided, you won't need to select all the parts to edit the division. Select just one. From the contextual rhythm, click Edit Division. In the uh, administrative division of Local 3, I wonder how many people can actually do this. So as I'm editing the division, in the Properties palette, change the division profile parameter. Well, isn't that just beautiful? None. Angled step. To angled step. Angled step, once you select a profile type, additional parameters are available in the Properties palette. Set the edge match parameter to Nat, I get this little gnat that got on that thunderstorm. 
and now west. Uh, in the properties palette, change the division profile prime to angled step, angled step. Once you select a profile type, additional parameters are available in the properties palette. Select the ed mat edge match parameter to complementary. Angled step. Edge match. Mirrored, rotated, or complementary. And we'll do all three. Click the green check mark in the ribbon to finish the division edits, and you will see that the updated pro profiles are applied to all edges of the divided parts. As soon as you divided it by the grid one, Y plane one, and level one, right? It's divided along those lines, so it'll be profiled along those lines. It'll be complementary to those profiles. Or the profile. Let's zoom in. Angled step. Cool stuff, right? Cool stuff. Interlocking to an extent. Tongue and groove. You can do some tongue and groove flooring with this tool. Create tongue and groove flooring. Right? It's the same concept. It's the same concept concept uh, concept as tongue and groove. Does the curtain match the carpet? <laughs> That's my male chauvinist pig coming out. Because again, you may lose sight of something else. You know, you're so busy with this, there's something else you lose, you know, when you dedicate all, all your time to doing this instead of what you used to dedicate all your time to when you were a kid and you had all your blinders on when you were full of all that testosterone, right? What did you used to do then? If you were as focused as doing this, young man, as you were, or are as focused as trying to uh, crawl back up, then you may get a, a little more ahead of yourself now, put in the effort now. It's a horrible thing to say, right? The class is for three-year-olds. You spend nine months trying to get in, and then you spend the next rest of your life trying to get, you, you spend nine months trying to get out, and the rest of your life trying to get back in. Anyway, you know what I mean, man. <laughs> anyway, this just so happens to be a very powerful tool. A very powerful tool. Now, um, let's just take one other uh, uh, look at this before I uh, go on to uh, the different functionalities of it. Um, and again, this is what it's going to tell you to do. To explore different functionality, you see what I'm doing? It's, I'm talking, and the, uh, I'm talking now, and I read the book, and the book already knows what I'm going to be saying next. Isn't that unreal? It's unreal, man. It, it's almost as if it knows the, the trauma that I've been through. And, and it knows me. It's, it's so intuitive. It's funny. I, I know. You think I'm fucking crazier than a shithouse rat. But, you know, let me tell you. Healthcare fraud is a brutal thing. If you go through healthcare fraud, well, you can't get health, health if you can't get access to cholesterol medication, for Christ's sakes. High, you know, high blood pressure medicine. If you're denied healthcare, you're going to get sick. And there are folks out there that... You know, they just they don't even know what they're doing. They don't know any better. What did Jesus say? Forgive them, they know not what they do. Well, fuck that. I don't forgive. Well, it's air is human. To forgive is divine. Well, you're lucky I got my health care. Well, there'd be hell to pay. And I'm probably the one that would have had to suffer through it. Assholes. Other two of you over there. <laughs> you know the two I'm talking about. ATM division. <laughs> Mad men. You should rephrase it. Mad men division. <laughs> All right, so uh, ex to explore different functionality with the division pro. Repeat steps two through four, but select the notch and set the edge match param parameter to mirrored. Observe the change in behavior. You see, I'm a regular guy. You see the change in behavior when I can relax, get on my meds? Now, here's the thing. I am not financially secure by any stretch of the means. But if I can just get through this, I'll feel so much better knowing that I was able to jam this right down your throat. I kept mum for so long, I hadn't said a fucking thing. And now you get to have to listen to this. You don't have to, but you will. I will convey this message whether you fucking like it or not. And uh, when next time we go around the loop and we run into each other, you know, the other two of you, just remember, I'm not going to be saying much, but remember who and how I behaved on these videos. I just remember how I behaved. And you'll see, I'm not going to say a word. You know how I am when I get back to the shop. I don't say a single thing. 
I talk, I speak when I'm spoken to. And then, you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to show you the real me. You know, the, the worst and the best. Anyway, we observe and report. You report, I decide. I report, you decide. I'm just going to observe the change in behavior using a different matching property. When you apply a custom profile to a division of parts, <laughs> tools, the, the profile is applied to all divisions. I'm happier when I'm successful. How about that? Is that the easier way to say it? People are, people are just happier when they're more successful and they're, they're, they're miserable dregs of society when they're not. And that happens. And I do not want to go through life struggling for every goddamn penny I put on the table. I've got too many liabilities for that. Anyway. Apply a custom profile to a division of parts. The profiles apply to all divisions. If you need to assign different profiles to different divisions, you must apply each of those unique divisions separately, which is cool, right? You can combine them, right? Notch, stepped, and uh, all that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, you could, uh, you must apply it to uh, each of those unique divisions separately. Let's try this approach by continuing the exercise. In the parts model view, select any of the precast concrete parts you generated earlier. Click Edit Division in the contextual ribbon. Click the Intersecting References button in the ribbon. So let's just start that. Let's just finish this before I go off on a tangent. And we're still in notch step, right? It was still in notch step. Click any of the panels and go to Edit Division. Okay, and now we go over here. Right? Hold on. Now, in the Intersecting References dialog box, in the Intersecting References Name dialog box, set the filter drop down to All, and then deselect Reference Plane Y1, Y Plane 1. Deselect Reference Plane Y Plane 1. All. Deselect it. Okay. And then, uh, hold on. Uh, click OK to close the dialog box, and then click the green check mark on the ribbon to finish uh, editing the division. Well, I don't think we're going to get anything from this. Right? We're not going to get anything. Nothing will be divided. While pressing the control key to collect the, select the two larger precast um, concrete panels to the right side of the wall. Two larger precast to the right side. Two larger. One. Control. Two. Hold on, let me show you this right. Um, Click the divide parts in the ribbon. Divide parts. I'll set the intersecting references button in the ribbon. Okay, let's make us do it again. Set the filter drop down to all, and then select reference plane Y panel one. So I want us to undo it and then redo it. All. Y panel one. It's almost having to erase it. Click OK to close the dialog box. In the properties palette, set the divided gap parameter to one inch. One inch. Click the green check mark in the ribbon to finish editing the division. We just did the same exact thing over. You know, nothing will be divided. I, I, I do see how nothing will be divided. Well, we had more. I undid it, so that's what. That's why it did what it did. So let me just uh, like this instead. This is still a step notch, right? So I screwed up a little bit, but just bear with me. What I wanted to do was go into divide parts. Hold on, edit division. And I want to do this. I want to do first. I want to do it like this, mirrored, and hit apply. And as you can see, it mirrored it between the notches, right? Now. That was mirrored, not complementary. Let's do it again. Let's go to uh, Edit Division. Let's go to Rotate it. And let's hit uh, OK. Let's take a look. Now it's the other way around. It's, it's flipped on the, it flipped along the X, actually, yeah, it flipped along the X axis. It mirrored itself along the X axis. OK, now if you look over here, it's hard to see it because it's 3D, but it, it did. Over here, you can see it right here. The long and the short, right? All right? So now, what I wanted to do was 
if we were to go here and go edit division again, um, we're going to put in edge match rotated. We did all three. Okay, what uh, it wanted us to do was create two different profiles, one on one reference plane, one on the other, but the uh, exercise kind of screwed it up. So I just want to keep that in there and see if I can do it again. Uh, I don't want to ruin this video with me ending it looking like an idiot. But again, listen, I'm not, I'm, I'm not who you think I am. So now you know who I am. There's no, there's no hiding this, obviously. You know, I definitely have a lot of PTSD. All right, but I'm working on it. Medication's helping. Uh, okay, so uh, to explore the different functionality of the division profiles, repeat steps two through four. But select the profile notch and set the edge match parameter to mirrored. And uh, observe the change in behavior. Okay, so we, we saw that. Um, when you apply a custom division of parts, the profiles apply to all divisions. Now, this is what they wanted us to do. And or at least it mentioned it, but necessarily didn't give us the steps. Let's see if indeed it did and I didn't do it correctly. If you need to assign division profiles to different divisions, you must apply each of those unique divisions separately. Let's try this approach by continuing the exercise. In the parts model view, select any of the precast concrete panels you generated early in this exercise. Click Edit Division in the contextual ribbon. Okay. Edit Division. I'm trying to think, maybe this is a mathematical exercise. If you think about it, it's probably a mathematical exercise. If you can divide, you know, if you really know whether or not you can divide a number by zero. That's what it all boils down to. If you can divide a number by zero, right? Isn't that what it means, man? <laughs> right? In the end, if we really think about it, I refuse to budge an inch. You give that guy an inch, he'll take a yard. <laughs> In the parts model view, select any of the precast concrete parts you generated early in the exercise, edit division. Click the intersecting references button, and it's the intersecting, ref uh, intersecting named references dialog box. Select the drop down to all and then deselect reference plane X panel one. Uh, y panel one. X -O, X O communications. Click OK to close the dialog box and click green check mark. Nothing will be divided. While pressing the control key, such two logic precast panels on the right side of the wall. Divide them again. Divide them by the Y panel. And the property change the gap. Click the green check mark in the ribbon to select a division, and nothing was, divided, nothing was divided when we did it last time. You'll now see the custom profile was maintained for the other part divisions. Yeah, but we didn't have any other parts divisions selected. So they were unselected, right? When we unselected the Y, the other two, for uh, level one and grid line one, were unselected, if you remember. So there was nothing divided at all. Uh, either that, or I got a, a voltage transient spike manipulating it, or I'm just nuts. So, again, this is, uh, sometimes this can be uh, funny. You have to take it with a grain of salt, you know. You got to remember something. These, these, these students and these, these professionals are coming over from where all this mathematics was coming over from the, you know, from the ancients. You know, these folks are coming over from where the Mesopotamia and, you know, the uh, Yangtze River and all these places where all of these scholars over the years have been studying this shit for millennia. And they know what they're doing, right? They do. And, and you, you're going to have to accept the fact that numbers don't fucking lie. So, yeah, man, rest on your laurels if you want. Call me what you will. Call me what you will. You want to comprehend this shit, you're going to need to study your fucking ass off. Mm -hmm. Present company is included. I said this is a mastering series for those who aspire to be pros. I wasn't fucking kidding. We ain't done yet. Are you fucking kidding? You see, I, I breezed through those chapters only because I had four hundred fucking dollars left to my name, and I wanted to get it done on four hundred dollars. Okay, but my rent's twenty five hundred and ninety nine dollars a month. Okay, I'm, I'm paying close to uh, three thousand dollars a month in rent. And I'm broke. Right? But notice how I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about getting this under my belt. Because I know it will return dividends. And I, I've come back from disaster before. You know, and if this turns into another disaster, well, I'll live and learn again. I can't control what the Chinese eat. If they want to eat bats and fucking dogs, you know, 
infect the DNA strand of the human genome? What the fuck am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna try to keep myself as healthy as I can. I know I'm going off on a diatribe again, but um, this, this makes a fucking difference, man. This will help you. Knowledge is power. As your body grows bigger, your mind grows stronger. But your body gets weaker sometimes. But as long as you keep that, man, I'm telling you, you can heal yourself. I'm doing it right now. So, okay, I'm going to do this again. Now, intersecting planes. It says deselect, show all. Now, remember, we had this selected like this. Oh, now they're selected again. <laughs> Level 2, grid 1A. Security system. Sure, you're not going to get through it. You may or you may not get the ID, bitch. If Adco spelt my name wrong to get me in the fucking door, they wouldn't let me in with my background. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> they wouldn't let me in. You know how much I had to fight? Those fucks lied about all the shit that I did and fucking called the law in on me. You have any idea what it is, my Korea? You have no idea. Anyway, whatever. Malicious intent is malicious intent. Again, I can't administer justice. I just gotta rise above it. Without acting out, right? You can't act out. Irregardless of whether or not you were wronged in life, you can't. Again, I take the Ron Goldman approach. All right, so now I'm just gonna deselect why. <laughs> why? Well, that's why. And I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm going to uh, keep the divided gap at one. Angled step, we said complementary. It doesn't really tell us anything else. Hold on. Well, I get rid of the why. Now it's just the uh, level one and then the grid line one. So it's a, a, a simple, a simple two plane cross-reference. And the properties palette says divide a gap to one. Click the green check mark. You'll now see the custom profile is maintained for the other divisions, but the rightmost vertical division has only a simple gap. I don't see a single gap on the rightmost, the rightmost at all. Okay, well, it's, now it's on the left. Again, Microdesk deliberately sent me to two different markets. One was an Amish community, very uh, devout, and the other wasn't. There's a certain left-right parameter here. Well, this is the same profile. That doesn't actually, those directions are not actually, um, they're not, the directions in this text isn't actually coming to fruition for me. So again, what I'll do, is I'll just to let you know that people to the far right and there are people to the far left. There are people to the far right and there are people to the far left. So I attempted to uh, explore the different functionality between the different division profiles, but uh, as you can see, I had run into some, uh, some problems with it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, turn this one off, and uh, it's long. And then uh, I'll just pick it up and find out where uh, where it is I, I made the mistake if I did, and I'll try to explain it to you again. Because maybe you're doing it and you're getting the same mistake. And I've seen that where folks have looked for uh, lots of forums out there, um, uh, Revit forums. And um, they report and they talk and they talk and they talk and they talk. I got this problem, I got this problem. They won't do this, they won't do this, they won't do this. And then somebody will come back with a lucid, a lucid solution. And then the forum will report that it was solved. So we're in the business of finding solutions. Um, again, I was a BIM solution specialist. Uh, but I just didn't let them know that I knew architecture. I lied about that. Well, just like I lied about knowing anything about catering. <laughs> what do I know? <clears throat> what do, listen, I don't know anything about my way around the kitchen. 